Good Saturday to you, YouTube. If you've been following my channel, we had a, a bit of a mishap with the tank liner that we had to remove. And today I just want to blow off some steam. I want to have some fun. I was cleaning, I was cleaning the shop, and I would found an old set of Volkswagen hubcaps that I want to start a project with. You can see that they're not in bad shape. Some rust, a little bit of rust, and I was getting ready to do some electrolysis on this Harley Davidson, some work with that chrome, and I thought to myself, well, if I got to set a tank up, I'm going to go ahead and have some fun. Got a piece of PVC here. Piece of PVC. I'm going to spin that hubcap. I'm going to top this off with a little more water. Wasn't sure exactly how much I would need. That looks pretty good as far as suspending it. I'm going to pull that back out. That tank is almost not big enough. I got a couple of anodes here. It's just sacrificial pieces of angle iron. And I took this little lead. It's got two alligator clips that connected those. We got our positive here. We're going to put our negative on the wire that goes to the piece. What I want to do is add about a tablespoon per gallon. I'm going to mix all that up, get my part in, we'll hook our leads up. I'm not sure if this is going to work with the battery charger I'm using. It's, a, it's just a one amp trickle charge. This is going to be a little bit of an experiment for me. If everything goes well, we should start to see some bubbles start coming off of our piece. My, I'm curious about the... Oh, I see activity on the anodes already. Okay, I don't want to stand over top of this and breathe this in. At any rate, you get the point. We've got, we've got bubbles moving off the top of both these pieces, the anode and the hubcap. So it looks like the one amp's going to work. It was an experiment. Our, you can see our electrolysis. We've got a lot of rust in there. It's done its job, it looks like. It's been about two and a half hours. I was going to leave it at two, but I had a little bit of a shop emergency. So anyway, let's get it unplugged and check out our work. We'll get it washed off here and see what it looks like. Got my little jumper wire here that I was using on each of those anodes. To get it off. Pull our sacrificial metal out of there. That sounds real nasty. That's the side that I had the negative or the positive side of my charger on and to answer the question it looks like a one amp charger does just fine I'd always use the two amp scrub it and see what it looks like yeah that rust is just it comes right off of there it looks like it's still attached but it's not it's Tell you what, let me get let me get this off here. And we'll take a little piece of steel wool and finish it up. Yeah, that's nice. The rust is it's the rust that's sitting on top just flows right off of it. This was what I was mainly concerned about was the face. I'm going to use this for a project that I've got in mind. Yeah, that's really, it does a really good job. That's it. That's the, that answers my question. The, the, the big question was, uh, it, it, to me, will a, a one amp trickle charger work in your five gallon electrolysis tank? I'm not sure how that would work with a bigger one. I've got one that I've got another project coming up that I want to um, I want to use. It's a larger tank. I don't know if it would work in that. I, I'm not a 
in a larger tank I don't know if the one amp would work but we can do an experiment with it and see at any rate this is I'm happy with this real happy with it very good we'll uh, we'll use this on the upcoming project stick around and you'll uh, you'll see what we got up our sleeve